Hello guys I hope you all are doing well. Today's video is gonna be about common feathers and skin disorder and how I help my 40 year old Congo Bogart to have some relief from dry skin, what products and remedies you should get and how to administer it. Is your bird suffering from dry skin? Are you feeling itch Bogart? Dry, itchy, flaky skin can be caused by many factors and all of them have a solution. What can you do to help? This condition in your feathered friend can easily be treated and remedied. Take these simple steps to relieve itching and feather plucking, your friend will stay happy and beautiful bird she was meant to be. I use aloe vera juice on my 40 year old Congo, Bogart, after her shower, usually from the top of her gym as she started getting aggressive the minute she sees the mister. I hope everyone take heed of my advice I give on this video. Because I notice such a difference in Bogart's feathers and skin when I give her the aloe shower as opposed to the normal shower. Most African greys and cockatoos and some other species have extremely dry skin. They have natural dander which allows 75% of their feathers to be waterproof. Many people who do bathe their birds, feel that the job wasn't thorough and many times, that's true. A completely soaked to the skin bath is the ideal but for some. But understandably it's hard to accomplish. For some birds that don't get this type of bath, the dry skin escalates and can cause itching, irritations, which can then cause plucking or chewing of the feathers. Sometimes, a bird might even decide to pull out the whole follicle, in which case, the feathers will never grow back. Molting is nature's way of getting rid of old feathers, that have become useless because they've died and a new set of feathers is ready to replace them. This also applies to flight and tail feathers, who have a constant blood supply in them, and when that blood supply finally dries up, the flight and tail feather will fall out, because those feathers have also reached the end of their life, and others are ready to take their place. All flight and tail feathers won't fall out at the same time. When a bird goes through a regular molt, all other feathers to fall out, at the same time. For many birds whether they have skin feather problems or not, periodically using aloe juice will solve a few problems concerning skin. Nature, is telling the parent's body to shed feathers, in order for new ones to grow in. 100% natural aloe vera juice is usually sold in one gallon. The price ranges from approximately $7 to $9 depending on where it's bought. I find that the best method for using this product is through a mister or sprayer. The juice can be cold or room temperature. I prefer cold so I store the jug in the fridge and just pour it into the mister. There's been discussion about percentages of juice to water. I prefer full strength and I know it can't harm the birds. I've used it full strength for years. The choice is yours. Now I will show you, you how I do aloe shower to Bogart. You ready? You, are you ready? The you most important parts of a gray's body that should be thoroughly soaked are the inner part of the wing where it meets the body. That body area should be sprayed very well. All over the breast area starting from the neck all the way down to the vent area. All of the above areas aren't waterproof so the juice should soak in immediately. The feathers covering each leg. The base of the upper neck, lower back of the head. I fill a mister with the fluid, and start misting the breast area. I stand about 10 to 12 inches away. The closer you are to the bird, the better it is for the bird. Using a mister close up, doesn't disturb a bird, as much as if the mister was farther away. Usually, the bird tries to bite the nozzle which is to be expected. They'll do the same thing with a water mister. 
using aloe juice softens and makes the skin extremely supple. Normally, a gray will sit quietly after being bathed until nature tells it that it's time to preen, which might take more than an hour. Depends upon the bird. I also keep a small bottle of 100% pure aloe vera gel around in case of periodic irritations on the legs, raw spots, dry scales and intense picking. Do you see that? Bogart will hit the aloe bottle every time she finds it. I also use it for minor thin spots on the body. That can happen during molting season. A little dab and it immediately is absorbed by the leg or body. Neither of these items are harmful to the bird. The juice, if accidentally ingested, won't hurt the bird, because neither item is toxic. People also drink aloe vera juice when they have intestinal problems, such as ulcers and digestive problems. So hopefully this information will help you. Please let me know in the comments down below if you notice any difference and good results by using aloe vera to miss your birds. I'll share with you on the next video how I train Bogart. From aggressive behavior while bathing in the sink to a quiet peaceful shower in just only a few weeks, on the next video, I will give you some tips for convincing your parrot that water is fun, teach the bird bath time should be an enjoyable time, and you can show your bird how. Are you feeling good Bogart? Please make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching. Okay, see you later. Bye bye.